Right, okay, so um, this is the sort of day job apart from the day job, if you like. Um, I have created, over the last two years, a website which is called ICT Magic. It's a wiki page. If you Google ICT Magic, um, the first two pages are mine. Um, so if you want to see any of these resources, I have about 5,000 resources on this, which are all free to varying degrees, but uh, I would obviously ask you to check that out. And from that, I'm going to show you a couple of my favorite resources at the moment from that. The first one, I'm just going to talk through because it's quite a complicated one. You can think of it as a movie maker, but online. It's a collaborative movie maker. And it's wonderful because the children can obviously upload files from either from school or from uh, home or anywhere for that matter. And they can invite other children who are their friends, and that is obviously um, decided by the teacher rather than themselves. And they can collaborate not in real time, unfortunately, but they can collaborate uh, to um, make a movie. Uh, and it's a fabulous resource. My children have used it. We uh, created some sci-fi films last year, and it was uh, a very interesting experience. Next one I'm going to talk to you about is a website which I found fairly recently. It is a uh, tool to be able to design a lesson. Now, that may sound simple to the gathering here. Obviously, all teachers, we design lessons every day. Have any? <laughs> Okay, fair fun if you insist. Right, so uh, this one is called Ed Canvas. So I'm going to do the topic. Du, 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 du. I will choose the topic. No, I won't apparently. Oh, okay. Right, so I can type in to here and let's do, okay, let's see Essex. This should be very interesting. Senses may apply, but we will see. Oh, nice and safe. How about that? So I'm going to use that image and I'm going to drag it across to there. Okay, lovely. Uh, I'm going to put my learning objective in there, which, as we all know, is gobbledygook. So there we go. Uh, I'm going to then put in a map there, and there we go. Lovely. I'm going to put in a web link. What should we do? Ooh. Let's try... Okay, I'll just do something simple, so I'm, I'm going to be biased. I'm going to do my website. So, if I type here... Let me see. Magic.wikispaces.com and you look for it, and eventually nothing comes up, which is rather nice. <laughs> so that's the problem. You do a big build up, and then that kind of thing happens. Right, let's move on. So if I go onto this one here, I can upload uh, Im uh, images and other files to my uh, presentation. Do, do, do. And eventually you come up with some very interesting things which are my desktop, so let's have a look what's in there. So we've got the London Festival of Education that I was at at Saturday. Let's have a nice icon from there. There we go. So there we go. We've got that one going into there. Lovely. And after all that, you can either share it or you can play your canvas and it's just like a slideshow. So if I press that, you can see that it simply goes to the next thing. That works with videos. That works with flash files. So it's a wonderful way to make sure you're prepared for when they come in and they're expecting you to make a mistake. But obviously, you can't with this piece of software unless you're trying to get your own website up. So... Next one. This one's called Ed Creations. Again, a very um, recent website that I've come across. Basically, it records what you're saying and what you're writing on your whiteboard. Now, as you can see, I have no interactive whiteboard, so unfortunately you're going to see my interesting writing, which isn't the best that most of the time. So let's go into one that I've created earlier, and I'm going to create a new lesson. So it comes up with something which looks very simple, uh, very similar to a whiteboard, it's a simple version of it. It records what you're saying, but it also records with what you're drawing. So there we go, I'm going to draw some nice mountains, because that goes along with Essex, doesn't it? There we go. A masterpiece, I think you'll agree. So, I'm now going to save that, and it's now got me saying, a masterpiece, I think you'll agree, on the recording. So, if I press save, it saves it, very straightforward. And, after a couple of centuries, It should come up, and then you can see it. Obviously, you can add details and things, so I'm just going to do lesson title. And you can play it back if you so wish to. So there we go. There it is. And the good thing about this website is that you're not the only one that's on it, of course. So other teachers from across the world, it is mainly an American website, so there are lots of uh, educators from America who are uploading their lessons onto here. But obviously, lots of those are going to be applicable for us as well. So eventually... After a long time, it will come up. 
And you can share this with your um, fellow colleagues, you can share it across the world, or you can share it with your students, but they may get impatient like I am right now. So, we'll move on, you get the idea. We'll come back to it perhaps. Right, the next one, I'm going to go on to this one. I love this website, I don't know if you've come across this before. As you know, um, as you probably realised, I am a geek, I'm sorry, but that's just the way I am. And what I've got for you, I've got some text, which I'm going to copy and paste into here, because I'm not going to stand here and write it for you. And I'm going to now press preview, and we have, hopefully some sound out of the speakers as well, very small ones. Right, you get the idea. So there we go, we have um, a very really interesting story opener, which I wrote. <laughs> Well, minute, it's worth it, we'll wait. Right, anyway, so um, obviously to create uh, a story opener with this kind of software is a wonderful thing to be able to do for um, uh, especially reluctant writers. Um, especially for those children who find the blank page really difficult. Obviously, most people love Star Wars, and if you don't, you're mad. So, let's carry on going. Hackasaurus, how long have I got? Right, all right. Right, so, I'm going to go on to... Actually, let's go on to... Google. I've always wanted to own Google, and I'm about to. So, you think I'm joking. Uh, this website lets you edit pretty much any website you want to. All you need to do is to get this, which you get from hackersaurus.org, and it gives you a little icon like that. You can press on there, and you can edit um, what is written here. So if I had an image, which I do, I'm going to get hit by a camel before that happens, probably. Well, thank you, sir. May I have another? <laughs> right. So, um, thousands of websites on my website. Please do have a look, and I thank you all. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> 